HJ and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hi welcome um while I'm filming this it is boxing day but I hope everyone had a very merry Christmas and a very safe Christmas um now I live in Scotland and where else is but we have now gone into another tier four lockdown situation so everywhere's shut today so there's no boxing day sales and stuff um but I thought I would show you what I got for Christmas and I know this is a different angle from normal but it's because I've put all my presents up where I would normally sit and I can't even squeeze into the uh, space. So I, I just wanted to show you guys what I got for Christmas. I don't mean to do this to if it feels braggy or any way. I don't never want to come across like that. I just, I'm very thankful for what I've got. I'm happy everyone in my family liked the presents I gave them. And I just wanted to show you guys. So without further ado, let's get into what I got for Christmas. <laughs> First, show you what my dad got me because I think I opened his presents first the other day. I can't really remember. Um, but I got a card, I obviously got some money in it um, to put towards a tattoo when all this is done because he asked me if I wanted anything for Christmas and I just went, He went, Do you just want a ta money for a tattoo? And I went, Yes, please. Um, he also got me some, I don't know where he got these chocolate Lego, like chocolate bricks that look like Lego. I actually can't wait to try them because I'm hoping they're all like different flavours judging by the colours, but I thought they were really cute. I have no idea where he got them from. I don't know if you want to eat them, but I probably will end up eating them. He also got me got me this little charm, like a gnome charm. It's really sweet and cute. So I think it's, it is made out of like obviously proper glass. I think Lucy got one as well, but I don't know if she got it in a different colour. Lucy's my twin sister. Also, if you hear tingling in the back, it's because my sister got my dog uh, a tag for Christmas for his collar with my number in it, in case he does run off because he's not trained. So if he does run off, he will not come back and I might lose him. Um, and it's that they, we already have like a little thing on this tag so it dangles so if you're hearing jingling it's basically Clive. He also got me these special edition pops with Snape, Harry, Pravati and McGonagall all in their Yo Ball outfits. Um, I seen this in Tesco with my sister and everyone already bought me presents and that so she, she suggested it to them. They were like we already got Jay's presents sorted so I thought oh that's I thought oh never mind I'll just get them when I see them again but I don't have to know my dad got me them so I was very happy when I opened those. As usual my dad always likes to get me a pair of shoes either for my birthday or Christmas from Lemonade. I love Lemonade their shoes are actually really good like the sparkly ones that went around like were knockoff of Primark because I got the ones from there. He got me a couple more pairs last year. He got me two pairs of Christmas last year but these ones are really nice like he always seems to get me really nice pairs of shoes for some sort of reason he's really good at picking out shoes. Um, so I've got these shoes which are like a black black with like grey around the rim and some white there. The, there's uh, glitter bits back here and here and this bit seems to be like a velvet material. He always manages to get me cool shoes so I, I do like just a simple black shoe. Um, I may need to throw out my other ones because they are getting a bit damaged so I will probably only wear these when it's nice outside because um, I'm not picking them anytime soon. Then him and my sister collaborated on a gift together. Um, and she also crab her my sister and Emily collaborated on a gift together as well. So I'll tell you about them just now. So I will insert pic I will insert um, a picture of what my dad and my sister were doing. They decided to build me this. It is a coffin shaped shelf that I will be using to put my horror my horror Funko pops in. And they say I can paint it what any colors I want to paint it. Um, dad just has to finish. Dad just has to measure out the size of the pop so he knows how big they kind of are and then you can put the shelves in and then I can paint it whatever colours I want. I think I'm going to do the inside purple and paint the outside black like it looks like a coffin. And then um, the the gift she collaborated on with Emily, if you'd seen, if you'd followed me on Instagram you'd already seen it but in case you haven't, um, I got this drawing and it's of Robin Williams as four of his different characters. So you have Mrs Doubtfire, Flubber, the Genie and Patch Adams and this was done by um, Emily's tattoo artist Freehand Bill at um, Inver, Inver Inc Tattoo in my local town and they've been working on this for months like I knew my sister wanted to get me um, a tattoo done and I wasn't allowed to know what it was and they kept trying to arrange it and we kept having to put it off and I was supposed to get it done between now and New Year but obviously with the restrictions come in that's put a wrench in it so he wanted me they wanted me to know about it somehow so he gave them his original drawing he wrote the quote on it that says you're only given one little spark of madness you mustn't lose it and um, he framed it for them Emily went and got it and they came up and surprised me with it very early before Christmas and I'm probably going to get this tattooed around about my birthday so it was very nice to actually get that I actually think it's a really cool idea 
um, and I actually really can't wait to get it. If you if you guys live in the Inverness area and you've never seen Inver Inc, they have amazing artists. If you can follow them on Instagram, they're all probably be tagged in their work. So you should go check them out. And I really can't wait to get this tattooed. Actually, we'll probably have to do it in two sittings because it's going to be a five piece and it's going to be quite big. So I really can't wait to get that done. Now, mm -hmm. what, why are you filming me? I don't like it when you do this. Okay, you're going to do this. What the hell? Oh, it's cute. Do you like it? Oh. How much do you like it? Just from first glance. Fucking. Okay. Well, when it's. Well, hang on. Genie, Mrs. Darkfire. <clears throat> Flubber and Patch notes. Adams. Yes. Because I just seen the notes. Do you like it? Yeah. Do you want to get it tattooed? Yeah. Sound. <laughs> <laughs> you fuckers. Yeah, um, uh, hopefully we'll get it done for your birth. And then my other present my sister got me was Billy from Saw the little the little guy that rides around on the bike. His name is actually Billy. I knew that, but like I I didn't know that for a while. I looked up and thought, why? <laughs> but but he's, um, it says here he's a Comic Con, San Diego Comic Con, in, like 2014 exclusive. And he glows in the dark. Now, I fell asleep really early last night. So I didn't actually get a chance to see if he glows in the dark. But that would that is going to freak the hell out of me if it does. This is from my gran. Um, as usual, um, she gives me a card with some money in it. So that is, is again, going towards the tattoo fund. <laughs> she got me two pairs of socks. Um... Harry Potter ones, obviously with, with um, the snake, badger, eagle and lion on them with the Harry Potter symbol at the top. And some dash hound socks. Little dashies with hoods with their little um, jackets on and that. They're really cute. Scented lip balms, which is actually quite nice because I, I, I think I actually really start to need to use lip balms because my lips are so bad and dry. So I actually really need to start using lip balm. Elf. To hang on the tree. It just says mine. I forgot to ask her what this means. It says princess and it's something under it that says my name in it. I don't really know what it means, but um, I thought it was really sweet. Really cool present, actually. She, her friend gave her like um, a painted, you get painted seashells. She got one, she got my sister one and she got me one. So obviously I got one with dashies on it, which is really cute with her little, little bandana. And I thought it was really sweet. But this one actually reminded me of my, of my mum's dog, Charlie. Um, we lost Charlie this year, sad, sadly, um, so he's no longer with us. But when I saw this, I he looked, he's like a Crocker Spaniel. So he's like a Sprocker mixed with a Cocker Spaniel. So he's like a Springer Spaniel sort of mix with them. And it looks like him because of the ears. So I literally thought like Clive and that looks like, this is, looks like Charlie and Dashy for him. This, I got all these gifts from my best, one of my best friends, Emily. So I ripped the bag trying to open it because tape is my enemy on Christmas. I hate tape. Um, she got me these cool Harry Potter um, bottle lights. And they say potions master, apologies potion. Yeah, potion master, apologies potion. And they oh, light up. She loves to get me sheet masks because she got me addicted to face masks because um, my skin is actually terrible. So I just got these two from her. And I've used these before and they're really good actually. It's really cute Christmas cushion cover with a dashi with a, with a Santa hat, the candy cane in his mouth and a little star on his tail I thought it was really really cute so I'll be putting that away soon but like every Christmas I will find it I will find it get one of my cushions and put it on she loves candles she's got me a frozen margarita scented candle which is like a mini Yankee candle one and I do have a candle holder I can stick it in it'll be fine oh it smells so nice <laughs> people might some people might think this is really weird but I've if you know me that I like horror horror movies serial killer documentaries that kind of stuff real crime drama so she got me a book called The Five, The Untold Lives of the Women Killed by Jack the Ripper. Which actually is, I actually would find, actually think is very interesting. Because you always remember the killer, you never remember the victim. So I actually think it's quite cool. I actually can't wait to read this. I'll need to finish my other book first and then I'll definitely be moving on to this one. Then right at the bottom of the bag in this little pouch, she got me some pins because um, I have a jacket with pins all over it. Um, so she got me some pins, which are really cute. So she got me the moth from the Science of the Lambs to kind of match my tattoo, I think. She got me the boat from It, the one that Georgie loses down the drain before Pennywise kidnaps him. I say kidnaps him, kills him. And a little Lumos pin, which I thought was really sweet. So they were going on my jacket. 
as soon as I um, finish tidying all this up. I'll just go for my mum's. My mum always likes to give big bags and she always gives, gives me really nice stuff on her. So she got me Calvin Klein Euphoria perfume. I used to wear this perfume all the time and I've been actually been missing it. I love the smell. Um, so I was really ha happy when I got when I pulled that out because I've really been missing wearing that perfume. Girl, she got me some socks. They say dash around through the snow, Hol stripes with holly on them, stars, and dashies. <laughs> Carrying presents in their mouth, of course. Having a dash around, you get dash around themed things all the time. So I've been expecting loads of dash around themed things. Right, this is an ins this is kind of like an inside joke. My mum uses this in her toilet, like in the in to spray, uh, to make it smell nice. Mediterranean sun, um, so it's like an orange type of scent. And then she smell, I smell, it and I went, "What is that?" And she sold me it, and I was like, "Oh, I need to get it." And I went out with her that day, and everywhere we went, we could not find it. Poundland, the range, um, home bargains, nowhere. So she found it and stuck it in my. Christmas bug. So I was actually really happy when I pulled that out, which is weird, but I, I love the smell of this stuff. Got me some chocolate. As usual, she got me these king size Reese's pieces with, um, they are actually filled with peanuts. I know they're peanut butter flavour, but these actually have nuts in them. I've tried the ones with the peanut butter with the Reese's pieces in them from, I think I got them from Morrison's, I think, and they were really good, so I can't wait to try these. And she got me a Hershey's Gold Peanut and Pretzels bar. I've never tried that before, so I'm very excited. I love peanuts and stuff, if you can't tell. Cute little book, notepad. It comes with a pen and it says, I just want to be a stay-at-home dog mom, which I currently am anyway, because I can't really work. So I am currently a stay-at-home dog mom, but I have at least now like a million notebooks. I don't know what I'm going to write in it, but we you never know. But I thought it was really cute. My sister got one that says um, something about being a crazy cat lady, which I think she might end up being. I already have this keyring. I think my gran got me it, but I'll just hang it up in my room somewhere. It's like a cute little dashy keyring. It is really cute. I already have it and I pulled it out and I went, oh no. So I'll just hang it up on my wall or something. But I haven't um, took, unwrapped it, but I know what it is because my sister got a blanket. So it's just like a little Christmassy dash hound blanket, which Clive will claim as his own with every other blanket I possess. This one was from my stepsister Mia. Now she gave me two cans of this passion fruit martini, which got drunk yesterday. So they're not in there to show you. But she she was telling me about this um, Olaplex hair treatment um, for damaged hair because I dyed my hair like crazy colors, like really bright pink, blue, and then I, I dyed it gray on my own. Um, and she told me that this is really good for um, treating your hair. So I will be using this, I think, for near future, see what it's like. Sister. One of my elder sisters gave me this, this one. Um, got Primark voucher in the card for £15, which is great because I do like Primark, so that's handy for me. She gave me this little sock, this little um, reindeer, and inside is um, Jack's Obsession Tim Burton Nightmare Before Christmas um, Scentsy Wax Melts. She gave me a Scentsy Burner last year or a couple of years ago, but I haven't been able to use it because I've got no plug sockets available, like, near me to like at all to use it in and I'm, and all my plug sockets are quite low to the ground so I'm afraid um Clive might um hit it burn it, it burn it over get wax melted over him but these smell so good and I will totally I will use these I will find a way to use them I will eventually try and set up my scentsy burner and she gave me these Ursula ones but I don't know if she meant to give them to Lucy because I showed Lucy was on FaceTime when I opened these she went why did you get those and she got Maleficent um she got the same Jack one side of it she got Maleficent so I'm gonna swap them with her but they smell really nice, um, so I'm swapping with her. <laughs> Little compact mirror with my initial on it, and you turn it around, and there's the mirror, it's really cute. Um, I actually got really confused about what it was at first, and I had to ask Lucy what it was, um, but I, I have to peel this off first, which I won't do yet. Um, but it's a really nice, fluffy, compact mirror. It's actually quite, it's actually the smallest compact mirror I've ever really seen. She got me a mug that says J on it with Mickey, which she gave, I can't really take it, no. It's balancing against it, I can't, like I have a water bottle that she got me for my birthday with the same one on there. So it's quite cute, got a little matching set going on. Say Merry Christmas to everybody. Say Merry Christmas, look how smart he looks. That's the tag I was just saying. Look how smart he looks. Say Merry Christmas. <laughs> Move on to my eldest. I was climbing in my lap. Well, I've got um, pieces, which I'm very happy about. Reese's peanut butter selection box. So there's dark cups, original, the with the pieces in and white cups. So these will be getting eaten since there's nowhere to go. Handy for movie night. So got me this. Um, I love my dog calendar with a little diary as well. I don't normally use diaries, but I might try to use them. 
Um, the dogs in the back are so cute. Like it's not like a dash hound themed one, um, but the dogs are really, really sweet. I got like a little Pomeranian puppy on my one, but my dad's got my favorite. He's got a freaking husky. They're like my favorite. They're also my favorite type of dog, but I will be hanging this up as soon as New Year comes around. He works for Body Shop, so she got me an, a nice exfoliating loofah. Nothing really to say about that really, but um, it does smell nice to be fair. I don't know why I just smelt it, but it'd be like that. Um, happy place box like it came in like this mask came in it i think it's to try and help me sleep because obviously i have trouble sleeping um i have insomnia um, i'm in pain so trying to sleep to the pain in the bum all this cool stuff in it so we have um energizing body butter we have room mist which is quite nice because obviously my room will smell like dog pill mist to put um, spray on my pillow at night which obviously might help me so i might start oh. using this dry body oil solid calm cleansing bar and this is the coolest thing give yourself time 15 minutes 15 minutes sand timer and it looks like this so obviously obviously i think everyone knows how these work you turn it and you let, let the sand go so obviously this time is 15 minutes each time you turn it so i don't know if this is for sell as uh, this is time for I could use this for rela relaxing, timing face masks on my face. If they take 15 minutes, I can use this to time it. So if my phone can use it to fall asleep because it's actually quite soothing. Like if you can, you went, it's actually, if I looked at it, I would probably fall asleep. But I like this because it is Raven Claw color blue. Um, so I will, I think this is all designed to try and um, improve my sleeping patterns. So I think this is actually all designed to help me sleep. So I will try and use some of these products and we will see how I go is from my nana um who i haven't actually seen all this year actually because of covid because she lives quite a bit from me um i'd have to get my mum to drive me to see her i could take the train but obviously i, I don't want to risk it and her and my papa are kind of isolating themselves a bit they don't want to catch anything so she got me this like little hamper now it was full of dog treats as well for clive but all his dog treats have been put in his treat drawer um, he will not be needing treats for a year. Um, they got him so much stuff. I will tell you guys what Clive got after I'm done here. So I've got um, another loofah from the body shop that's got like a little um, Christmas pudding on it. It's really cute. This one smells nice as well. I got this cute little banana head towel. So um, obviously you put this spot on your head, wrap your hair in it and tie it around. It's really cute. I've been needing a new one actually and that's, that's actually really sweet. I could probably use this to keep the hair mask in as well just so it doesn't get all over my face. So that's, I thought that was really cute. I got this from ha Emma for my birthday as well, but I got on um, some Satsuma body uh, sh body shower gel. It smells so good. I also got banana shampoo and conditioner, but I've already used that. It's in my bathroom. I used it yesterday to have wash my hair and have a shower before dinner last night. Um, it's actually really nice. It's really smooth. My hair felt really good after it, actually. Got some strawberry hand cream. Obviously, like, since we're using all, since we're, like, sanitizing our hands all the time, like, they can get quite dry, so... It smells so good. It smells like you eat it. I'm not going to, but you know. Little, um, I think it's supposed to be a reindeer thing for the tree. I don't know. I think some. My, I think I think people get thinking it was a dark hound, but I think it's supposed to be Rudolph. And it jingles. She got me this really cute ornament for the tree for Clive. That just says Christmas with Clive. He actually doesn't have that many ornaments with his name on it. To be fair, he only has one on the tree just now. So um, next year, that will be going on the tree. Little rainbow which is really sweet and significant to my family because when we like my brother when he was younger and before he died he used to love painting rainbows so every time we see a rainbow we think of him so it's nice to have a little thing there to remind me of him and to help me keep going well that's all i got for christmas clive got a ton of treats he got dog donuts a cookie chocolate drops stocking full of stuff he got a chocolate orange for dogs from emily which is unreal i don't know how she managed to find that and he got um, a couple of little dressy up things from me, which I feel bad. Um, I'll show you a picture because it's in the living room. I'm not, I can't be bothered to go get it. I, gave, I got, put him in like a little Santa suit um, because I'm that kind of dog mum. That he is my only child and I will be dressing him how I feel. But never to embarrass him in public. He also got this cute little new jacket from my mum because he needs a new jacket because his other one's just done in. It's got hole, it's got a big hole in it now, um, but it's really it's waterproof on the outside and really fluffy and warm on the inside, so it should keep him nice and warm on walks. He looks really good in red actually for his colour. Look, is it your jacket? He thinks everything's a toy. I will insert a picture of him wearing it, but I got him a little um, Peaky Blinders style flat cap. 
just so you can match my dad. It was it's so sweet. Um, but and my gran and my dad and that gave him the best Christmas present of all. I will insert videos here. <gasps> Yeah, so we, he, the, the story is we had that paddling pool for him in the summer. He doesn't like water, he's not a water baby, he hates the bath, hates getting put in a, he, he avoids puddles on the road. Like he literally avoids puddles, he does not like water. So we decided what can we do with the ball, what, what can we do with the paddling pool? And we decided, my grand thought it'd be fun to get about 20 squeaky toy balls and put them in the paddling pool. And now he actually was going in the paddling pool, taking the balls out, going back in, playing in the pad, playing in it. You wouldn't even think it was a paddling pool. It's actually, it's, it's now his ball pit. So that, I thought that was really cute. Um, I think he had the best Christmas ever, actually. I think he was um, he was knackered by three, by two and three o'clock in the afternoon, weren't you, darling? You, you, you had so much fun, didn't you? you. That's it for this video, guys. Um, like I said, I don't mean to do this to brag. I, I'm just very appreciative of everyone's effort and what they've given me. I think it's very sweet. Um, I hope you guys had a very good Christmas. Let me know down below what was your favourite present you got this year or um, how you spent your Christmas. With Did you spend it with just your household or did you go see people but kept a distance? Let me know. Um, I w I'm wanting to say have a happy new year but um, as we know this year's been crap. So just go out onto your front porch and scream Jumanji and hopefully we can get out. Um, because I'm sure we all thought that going into 2021 things would be slightly different but they're not. Um, so I will wish you a good um, December 31st and a good January 1st and I will see you guys in the new year. See you later.